this is supposed true news. That's the name of the, the organization. And this is Rick Wiles talking about Donald Trump's evangelical advisory board. Uh, this is the, the they that he is speaking about at the beginning of this clip. Let's listen. The real reason they won't say anything is because the real agenda is Israel. Mm -hmm. yes. wow. And they're not going to jeopardize their standing with the White House to get things done for Israel. Yeah, I can see that. That's the real reason. Yes. So they will, they will look the other way about sin and keep their mouth shut. And so they're pushing the agenda because they have control of Washington. They have control of the Trump administration. Donald Trump is owned by the Jews. That's the truth. Yeah, so not only so, but I'm also owned by the Jews. Oh, hang on. And if you're watching on YouTube, YouTube is also owned by the Jews. Well, well, well hang on, hang on. If you're listening on the radio, the radio is also owned by the Jews. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are, are you driving your car? The car is also owned by the Jews. Do you live in a house? The house is also owned by, see, the Jews own everything. In fact, in fact, the Jews own Rick Wiles. That's why they put him out there to say those things so that they will sound so stupid, so impossible, so ridiculous, so incredible, so contrary to fact and reality that everyone will laugh and say, ha, 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 right. The Jews own Washington. They actually own Rick Wiles. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I'm being sarcastic. I'm being ridiculous because comments like that merit sarcasm, merit ridiculous response. Look, I know people on Trump's Evangelical Advisory Council. A, a couple are, are close friends, some dear friends, and there are a good number of them maybe the majority that I actually know. And I, I tell you what they say to President Trump behind the scenes and, and where sin comes up behind the scenes and where he's been called to repent behind the scenes. That's one thing. And the other thing is some of the ones who are the strongest and have Trump's ear the most have the least passion about Israel. That's, that's not a major, <laughs> excuse me, that's not a major topic for them. That's not a major part of their agenda. So everything that was just said is contrary to fact. But what does it matter as long as it's blasting the Jews and anti-Semitic? Oh, but that was just getting started. It gets worse. Now, remember, for many years now, the Jews have been blamed for all the world evil. Whatever it is, during the Middle Ages, during the Black Plague, because less Jews died than Gentiles. Why? Hygiene, because of Torah. They still died, plenty died, but not at the same percentage with which these others died. Obviously, the Jews, they poisoned the wells themselves. See, this was widely believed. Jews were slaughtered for this. When an economy fails in a country, it's the fault of the Jews. I've got a brand new edition of my book, Our Hands Are Stained With Blood, which by God's grace has, has become an important volume for many since it came out in 1992 and has changed many hearts and many minds about Israel and the Jewish people. I've got a brand new edition coming out with Destiny Image in September of this year. And just finished in recent weeks, a, a massive revision, adding notes, adding references, adding stories, anecdotes, updating other material, so exact same book, but deepened, sharpened attitude. And I have example after example where Jews, Jews are blamed for the spreading of AIDS. Jews are blamed for problems in the Vatican. It's, it's always the Jews. And, and there is the classic forgery of the Russian secret police, the protocols of the elders of Zion, which has, has been believed for over a century as if it was gospel truth that there's a secret cabal of Jewish leaders waiting in, in, in the dark shadows for the right moment to come, come out and take over the whole world. So in keeping with this type of conspiracy nonsense, listen to what Rick Wiles says here about, about the origins of the sexual revolution. They use sexual revolution to destroy a society. This is what's been done to America. The sexual revolution was a Zionist operation 
to break down American culture. And the families, pornography, yes, uh, to abortion. Destroy it. Absolutely. Oh, it's, it's, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Theodore Herzl himself was a secret gay activist. Oh, you didn't know that? You didn't know that David Ben-Gurion was actually Dorothy before he transitioned to male? You, you didn't know that? You didn't, you did Okay, I'm being sarcastic. I'm being ridiculous. But once again, those type of comments merit sarcastic responses. Sexual revolution was Zionist. Come on. Were there Jews involved in the sexual revolution as influential leaders? Yeah, Jews have been involved in all kinds of things. And were there Gentiles, plenty of Gentiles involved? And were the, were the earliest founders of gay activists in America Gentiles? Yes. Yes. But what does it matter? What, why care about truth when you can blame the Jews? Now, the problem is that Rick Wiles and True News have an audience. I don't know how big it is. I'm not saying it's this massive audience or larger audience, but they have an audience. And, and people watch this and believe it. And, and now they have the courage to expose this. Listen, as a Jewish follower of Jesus, I'm in constant conflict with my people. Constant. There's only a day that goes by, sometimes not an hour that goes by, that I'm an interacting with a Jewish person that has differences with me about Jesus and other things. And I'd be the first to say that Israel's far from perfect as a nation. I've said it in Israel. <clears throat> I said it at the conference in, in, in Beit Jala. I, I put me at the top of the list where, where the nation needs criticism. And I'd be the first to point to negative Jewish influence in history, be it Karl Marx and the Communist Manifesto, be it some of the early founders of communism in, in, in Russia in the first 20 years of the, of the 20th century. Yeah, I'm glad to call those things out. Negative Jewish influence in Hollywood, where it's, yeah, whatever. Jews are influential for good or for bad. I, I, I'd also be the first to talk about all, all of the Nobel Prize winners who are Jews, who, who have brought health and life uh, to so many, and, and Jews doing so much good on the forefront of, of so many issues around the world. And, and, and in times of disaster and calamity, Israel is often the first nation. You get Christian relief getting to a place where there's been a catastrophe and Israel with humanitarian help. And I'd be the first to point to the high ethics that are found throughout Judaism. In fact, it's like everybody else, Jewish people, the rest of the world, we're, we're mixed. There's good, there's bad. But this type of stuff is outright dangerous. It needs to be rebuked. It needs to be exposed. And Rick, if this clip happens to get to you, obviously, if you want to play what I played to mock my sarcasm, feel free to do it. Just note that I was being sarcastic. But let's have a debate. Would you? Would you have a public debate with me on this? A public moderated debate that we could live stream so potentially millions of people could watch us? Are your charges about the Jews correct? Are they true? Are they accurate? Will you? Will you have a public debate with me, sir? Let's do it.